How to get Ultrashop upscales. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So here is the method in a minute or less. After that, we're doing a deep dive. So first, what you want to do is to download this model here. It's called four times Ultrasharp. Put that into your automatic 1111 folder in the models folder in the ESR GAN folder. Then when you want to render your image, instead of rendering it normally with the normal resolution, you're clicking here on high res fix. You're using a two times upscale. You're setting the denoise strength to 0.5. Then when you have this high res version rendered, you click on send to extras. Then you select from the upscalers here the ultra sharp and you set this to two times because you have already upscaled it two times and click on generate. After that, what you're ending up with is a four times upscale that is high resolution, is super sharp, has a lot of details. So now that you know the trick, let's deep dive in why this works. There is a method to my madness, my friends. Maybe also time for a little rep. So you want it high res, but it looks like a mess coming at me with stress, getting cute like a dress, but I have that upscale, sharp like a coffin nail that drives you pale. So let me tell you that tale. All right, so let's dive deep into the story here. So how does it work? Why does it work? What the hell is a latent image? Let's go back to text to image here. And here is the thing. When you do the original version, this is low resolution. So there is not much detail in here. If you upscale that, gives you a bad upscale that is low detail. When you have a latent upscale, when you upscale without the image already created, the AI can look at the latent data that's in there and can put more detail to that. So this is why we have the high res fix here that will first render the image and then upscale it before it becomes an actual image. Now, of course, that is a little bit more intense on the rendering side. So you can actually do it another way. A little bit more economic saves you on GPU time. So turn off the high res fix again, render an image until you find something that you like. Then in the next step, we are doing the upscale by sending it to image to image. So let's click here. We have here our low resolution image. Now down here, you need to figure out the double size. So of course, 512 double is 1024. And then you have this overlay here. So you can simply scroll here to what is double size for your height. Now you have that. You want to send here your denoise strength, same as with the high res fix, to 0.5. Now you want to experiment with that value because 0.5 is changing the image a little bit, but also giving you nicer details in the result. We're using the same seed here that we are using on the text side. We're clicking on generate. And now indeed, as you can see, we have here a better version, higher resolution, higher quality. This is the version that we have created and it is based on this low resolution version. Now you can see that all of the details are nicer, finer, more expressive, and they have more quality too. Look here at the details of the clothing. Look here at the individual hair strands that you can see. The qualities of the eyes are better. The hairs on the eye are a lot better. Also the other details like the quality of the skin, all of that is a lot better. Now, of course, at that point, we already have a two times upscale. So that means when we go back in here and we send it to extras, in this case, we only need to upscale it two times, but we are still using the ultra sharp model. I will show you in a second why we're using the ultra sharp model. So after we've clicked on generate, we're getting this output and we are looking at the result and you can see that the quality is really amazing. High detail, lots of small elements here that you can see. And it has the same quality as what I've showed you before. So here we have a side by side comparison of the model that is high res upscaled and the model that is image to image upscaled. And you can see that the quality is identical. So this method works in both ways. But the one benefit by using the upscaling in image to image is that you can render faster at the step where you're still trying to search for a good result because it would be a waste of time to upscale every single image with high res fix before you have actually found something that you like. For comparison, a low resolution render 
we set the upscale to four times and we are using the SESR GAN four time upscaler. When you look at the upscaled image, you can immediately see that this is not even close to the quality we have seen before. When we zoom into the image, you can see there is no eyelashes, the pupils and the iris don't look good, the hair doesn't have much details, the clothing is kind of blurry, everything here is low quality, even the teeth are not so great. Now in the direct comparison of both images, you can see that my methods gives you highly more details, much better quality and a lot more sharpness. But let's dive another level deeper. So I want to show you here why the ultra sharp model is better than the ESR GAN model. I have here another image of a guy with a beard. This is now just rendering low resolution to emphasize the difference. We send this over to extras. We upscale this once with ultra sharp and once with ESR GAN four times. So this is our low resolution image. Looks pretty good. But when we upscale this, this is the ESR GAN version. Not too bad, but you can see it looks more like a digital drawing. This is the ultra sharp model upscale. Here, everything has more coherence. Everything fits better. Also, the smaller elements have more detail. Let's zoom in to show you exactly what I mean. This is the ESR GAN model. Everything here looks a little bit blurred, a little bit low detail and also more like a drawing. This is the ultra sharp model and in the direct comparison you can see that the ultra sharp model adds a little bit of noise, it adds more texture to everything, it also adds finer details, especially at the ends of the hair here. The next comparison is for the face area. Here I want to draw your attention to the ear, the skin texture, also on the cheek the skin texture and the beard hair down here. So this again is the ESR GAN model. Everything looks a little bit flat and untextured. With the ultra sharp model, you can see that we have a noise over everything that has this kind of analog grain in there. Everything has a bit more texture, but also everything feels a bit more real and has more detail. Now the last thing I want to draw your attention to is the detail in the clothing. And that is a big one. Now overall the clothing here doesn't look too bad, but when you look at this area down here, you can see that between these elements where we have nice texture in the clothing, there are always these parts that are untextured and very blurry. However, with the ultra sharp model, everything in the clothing does actually have a texture. So when we look at the same part of the clothing, you can see that all of this is sharp and has texture and details in there. And all of that texture is consistent over the complete clothing of the person. So overall, the ultra sharp model is a lot more consistent, but also brings out the details in a sharper and finer way. And this is really important here. But of course I have another trick up my sleeve. So when you use image to image upscaling, you also can choose a different sampling method. Here we have a photo of a guy. So we want to keep the facial features as close and similar as possible. So when I scroll down here to my settings, you can see for the denoise strength, I'm using a low value of 0.25 to stick very close to the original image, but still give the AI some freedom to add new details so we can have a sharper image and have more textures and details in there. But I can also change here the sampling method and you want to experiment with this. Now in the first image you see on the screen right now, I'm using Euler A. This is a very good method, but also gives a softer result. In the second image you see right now, we have DPM++ 2M Keras. This gives a more detailed, sharper result and is especially also good when you work with photography results. And in this image, I'm using DPM22 SDE Keras. Now in this case, the difference is only slight, but it is noticeable. So here they are side by side. And when you look at the edges of the hair, you can see that the SDE method is slightly sharper in these details. And that again, of course, can help you when you upscale for the final image. Here I have an upscaled image of the SDE version. 
And here is the comparison to what we have scaled up before from the low resolution version. You can see this has much improved our result. Absolutely tell me in the comments what kind of tricks and methods are you using. Thanks for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>